In terms of the number of exhibitors, we have close to 25% increase compared to the previous edition. Uh, there are total attendees, about 15-17% increase. Um, but also important is that the number of countries uh, that the exhibitors or the trade attendees are coming from we have increased the geographical reach of the, uh, the, the two shows. So it shows that uh, not just have we growing the show, but in terms of uh, reaching out to different countries, uh, I think we're also showing that. A few other things that is different from the previous edition. Um, this year, for the first time, in conjunction with the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore, we are co-locating uh, together this show together with the 7th uh, World Civil Aviation Chief Executives Forum. And I think it shows the increasing status of the show because uh, with this collaboration, about 60 of the Director Generals from across the world will be coming to the show. So I think it provides uh, value add for both the Director Generals and also the exhibitors on the floor that they can share their views, share their thoughts of what's happening uh, in this world of unmanned systems and Rotocraft Asia. So we have got two conferences, one for the unmanned systems, one for the Rotocraft Asia. Uh, I think both of them are touching on what's happening uh, in the current industry right now, what are the challenges, and also what to expect going forward. And the key element, very important element here is that how do we regulate all these developments, all these advancements that we see. And if you look at our lineup of the conference, uh, we have got uh, Mr. Hendrik Holole, he's the uh, um, Director General of uh, Mobility and Transport from the European Commission. Uh, we also have got speakers or panels uh, made up of the Director General of Singapore Aviation Authority of Singapore. Uh, we have got the Acting Administrator from FAA. Uh, we have got the Executive Director from IASA. So these are actually very, very important officials here sharing their thoughts of how do you regulate the unmanned systems uh, environment. So I think from these uh, conferences, they're going to talk about not just the, the delegates are not just going to learn about what's happening, but also understanding what the regulators are thinking in terms of the regulatory framework around all these developments that we're going to expect to see in the next few years.